Hey, fatty! Tonight we're gonna show you that rotten meat won't fucking kill ya. Let's begin. Okay, so I got some rotten liver here. that have been aging on the shelf since September 25th. So basically I got onto this, I was reading about Ogenus von der Planets. And this guy used to help people like crazy by having them eat rotten meat. It sounds fucking ludicrous. But where's your fucking studies? Okay, there's no fucking studies on this. You gotta have some fucking balls and try it. So, it's rotten lamb liver. I got September 25th on there. I'll get my trusty cameraman to just show you what it looks like inside the jar. So yeah, I just point it down in there. You can kind of see it. Kind of see it there. It's strong. It kind of smells like blue cheese in a sense, but it, it tastes like liver still, but it's it's very strong. Okay. So here's some fresh liver. This is actually beef liver. You can see the color. It's fucking basically red. So this is called high meat. Okay. It's called high meat. And if you read about high meat, how it started, I believe it was with the like Inuit or Eskimos and they had their dogs, their dogs pulling their fucking dog sleds and they realized that when they fed the dogs rotten meat versus fucking fresh fish or whatever they were eating, the dogs had like twice as much fucking energy. This is like the best fucking natural probiotic you can get in your fucking gut. And then, so what they did is they seen that the dogs had way more energy and they started making rotten meat and they would bury the meat in the ground and then they would let it just rot for fucking a few months before winter. And they would dig it up and they'd have people stand downwind. And if they couldn't smell the rotten meat way downwind, it wasn't ready. Okay, like this is, so they wanted it as rotten as they could get it. But it's got to be raw fermented meat, not cooked. Cooked fucking rotten meat will fuck you up. Okay, so we're going to have some of this. And it's, it's like blue cheese, like strong like blue cheese, but it gives you like fucking crazy energy. It feels so good. So I'll show you guys here. Here you can get a better shot in the light. So it's almost fucking like gray. Oh, it fucking smells. <laughs> it's fucking strong. Like, when I first had it, I tried it after about a month. And then it didn't kill me. And it was getting pretty rotten after a month. So the reason I have it on the shelf, so this was at room temperature. Like there's a lot of people that ferment it, like not a lot, but some of the fucking other hardcore people that actually try fucking shit like this, they'll ferment it in the fridge. But I said, fuck it, to speed up the process, I just had it on the shelf. And so how you do it, if you wanna try it, okay? If you wanna try it, get a jar, and you don't wanna go past half full. So this is a full lamb liver I chopped up into chunks about this big and I put it about maybe a quarter full and then what you do, you cut it up, throw it in the jar and then you basically let, you close it and then you air it out every say one to three days. So it gets air and it helps that bacteria feed and that, like it's hot, it, it's fucking, fuck, it just gives you a rush, it really does, it's fucking so, it gives you so much fucking energy, it's crazy, it's fucking I thought it was nuts too. And then I fucking did it and it's fucking the real deal. My stomach handles it like nothing. Okay? So that's how you do it. You put it in the jar. Then you basically, you can throw it on the shelf. I like it on the shelf, like I said, because it speeds up the process. And then I just air it out. Air it out every two, three days. And then fuck, it's ready. You know, a good month and it's going to give you that high meat effect for sure. But it like literally makes you feel high. It gives you like a buzz. It's fucked up. It's just like... Humans naturally want fermented food. Like we always are attracted to fermented food. It gives you a lot of energy. It's excellent for gut health. If you have a fucked up stomach from being a fucking coffee addict or antibiotics or a fucking sugar addict, fasting and then fucking combine it with a crazy probiotic like this, you're going to see amazing fucking health benefits. So everyone have a great night and stop fucking eating fatty.